In our Trader Rundown today, Alan Nuckman of Bullseye Option is here to take a look at the market action. And what do you think here, Alan? Well, not much fundamental news to drive the markets. Right? Earnings season's over, mm -hmm. doesn't start again until October, so we'll have to wait till, uh, till Friday when Jenny Yellen speaks. That is the biggest deal of the week. So what do you see as a potential play here? Well, last week the markets were steady. Now, we were actually unchanged when you look at the S&P and the NASDAQ. The Dow was negative, so that's interesting. Made new all-time highs last Monday and then closed negative on the week. So I'm not going to put that much stock in that technical key reversal just yet, but I'm looking at a Dow stock. The Dow is up 6% so far this year. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, so that's what good. would be the stock that you'd watch the most? The stock I'm looking at is Nike. It's it's the mirror opposite. It's down 6% so far this year. Oh. It's trading at $59. It did have a spike up last week, so it's starting to show some signs of life, and it's got to this highest level it's, it's seen since May. So it's really been trading between 55 and 60 since that time, so that target's 65, which is 10% higher. It's a post-Olympics trade, but what do you think about the holidays? Well, Nike. we've got football season coming we up. We have football. So let's think about that. But let's also pay attention that this stock is a momentum stock that paused. It's up 200% in the last five years. So it's taken a little bit of a pause. So from a risk-reward standpoint, I'm looking at the 52 and a half call, which is right in the middle of this action that we've seen here recently. Uh, January call, paying about $800 for that. The break-even is only a hundred uh, is a dollar and a half away, mm -hmm. so it's got plenty of time for good things to happen. And you never know. I love that you mentioned football season ahead of Christmas because I actually saw Halloween candy. <laughs> Halloween candy is now. It's August. It's I yeah, know. Okay. All right. But yeah, people One are focusing on at a time. football, as you well know, starts in two weeks. So that'll get people back into the sports game, get people paying attention to Nike one more time. But I think it's got some long-term potential. It had split last December, and that's the last time it made highs at 68. So if it gets back up to that 65, 68 is very close, then $80 in Nike. Okay. We'll see what happens. Thanks All so right. much for coming on the show.